saturation and through the underlying principle of empower people don't make them feel entitled to the benefits you can see the rapidness with which it's going on and the way in which pm monitors it is not just because this scheme how much have you targeted have you reached the target but also looking at many states which are even developed but within those states there are districts which are less developed they have been identified and in the last 6 7 years every parameter which is important for that area the aspirational district project in a way looks at no new money but has every one of the central scheme reached the aspirational district that way without political likes and dislikes irrespective of the government which is in power you are able to identify backward region within a state and help them directly so these are happening as well as they are happening you also find optical fiber going to every panchayat level every part of the country and what does that do to you it gives you access for education better health so the connectivity aspect that today unless this 5g had gone i mean uh, optical fiber had gone this far you wouldn't even be successful now i'm happy to say 5g shall be not soon the options are over the payments are happening is that possible unless you had a push which has been given with political will by honorable prime minister which is what he has been relentlessly doing whether it is for giving gas 8 crore indians received it in the first tranche one more crore has been added and in that migrant where laborers have also been included which will have reached everybody at a time when of course natural gas prices globally are going up but still i'm keeping that in mind look at the push which has been given and success that has been achieved with all participants the citizens in the renewable energy area india is looking forward towards next 25 years digitization is our strength the biggest strength which all of you are know sitting in bangalore is the payment revolution that we are seeing i am told the last highest number which happened within one month is 10 lakh crore slightly over 10 lakh 10.5 lakh crore worth of transaction all within one month like that every month it is in the range of 10 lakhs you know 10.2 10.5 lakh crores of transaction in digital payments and india is a leader in fintech not for nothing these are areas in which the amrit kal we will be building on these are areas of sunrise sectors lots of uh, innovative ways in which we are looking at electrifying rather than depending on fuel uh, like crude oil or petrol we are looking at education and health also becoming digital health is another area in which you saw the success of ayushman bharat where five lakh rupees tak you can have treatment for a poor family without having to pay cash or without having to fill up any payments these are not possible unless there's a relentless pursuit to include every indian the principle of antyodhya now it's all right for people who believed in socialism trying to do something but you saw that it is only when nda particularly during atal bihari vajpayee's time and now with the prime minister modi's time you are able to see that principle of antyodhya is taken very seriously give dignity to the poor but also give them the coverage that they so need for empowering themselves i will have to give some time for gopal to discuss and also have some interaction there's so much to talk so much which has been done in every you know part of uh, society every aspect of each of our lives uh, i would only request that through these uh, 100 editions which have come and i'm sure from now further editions which are going to come each of us take some time to see the mammoth work prime minister modi has done it is just not possible 
for an India which had all these heavy legacy problems to have thrown the legacy away, to have cleared all the burdens on the public sector banks. Banks are doing profitably good business now. We had infused 3.36 lakh crores to restore them to some order. But today they are in the market obtaining loans, obtaining raising funds from the market and doing business profitably and ensuring that also we ensure that those who have cheated the banks and gone away, they are pursued relentlessly and their properties are auctioned and the money is given back to the banks. That's happening continuously and that is what is one of the very good principles of never let go people who have cheated the country's uh, banks. We have ensured that we are getting the monies back and that is a continuing process. So without taking much of your time, I would request uh, each one of you to take some time out, look at the economic sales uh, documents, read please Prime Minister Modi at 20 because it gives so much of information to know what this country is now up to and we are looking forward to the Amritkar. Thank you.